Welcome to Power System Experts. Today we'll be discussing another important element in power system protection, which is the fault. How we can actuate the fault in PSCAD. For this, again, we'll go to the models. We'll go to the subcategory of breakers and faults. In this, uh, there, is, uh, there are two types of fault elements available. One is a single phase fault, and the other one is a three phase fault. Now we select it, uh, the three phase fault and have a look at the various parameters of this fault. The first one is the fault type control. Either you can control it internally or externally. If I control it, if I set it as internal, I can set the fault type as uh, like this. If, we, if for example, I want to actuate a phase A to ground fault, I can set it as yes and I'll select these two options and it will actuate the phase A to ground fault. For example, uh, I'll, I'll, I want to actuate a phase to phase fall, phase A B fall. I'll select it no and then I can assign it at, as phase to phase fall. Similarly, if I want to actuate double phase to ground fault, I'll simply select this option as yes. In this way, I can assign a double phase to ground fault. Let's back, uh, get back to the configuration. Uh, the other option is clear possible at any current. If I select it as no, then it will wait for the next serial crossing uh, before clearing the fault. If I select it as yes, then it, it will instantaneously clear the fault. Uh, the other option is, is the neutral grounded yes. If I want to actuate like uh, ground faults, then I'll have to select it as yes. Next is the fault resistance. Uh, in fault resistance, uh, you can assign the resistance of fault. For example, in real world, uh, there are faults which involve the arc resistance. So you can assign the resistance of that arc to actuate or to simulate the real world uh, example. The fault type I have uh, already discussed. Fault current names. I can like assign any value any name to it if I want to uh, like plot the f uh, the fault current of phase A I will assign it a variable name if underscore A then I will go to uh, the data label I will use the same name as I assigned in, in, in that module and using output channel I can plot this fault current the other option uh, in this is the fault type uh, external. If I set it as external, then another input actually uh, uh, appears. So I can assign a data label to it. For example, in this case, I have assigned it as type. And, I, uh, and through this, I can control various types of faults. How it is controlled? Uh, if I go into the help of this module, we see that if I assign a value of zero to this variable, there will be no fault. Similarly, if I assign this value to one, it will actuate phase A to ground fault. And similarly, by assigning values from one to 11, you can simulate various types of faults. So uh, for example, if uh, I assign this as uh, one, where there will be uh, a phase A to ground fault, and likewise, you can you can control any types of faults in the system. Uh, the other input is how we can actuate at what time instant we can actuate the fault logic. For this, you'll again have to go to the models, uh, the same subcategory of breaker faults. In this, uh, you can select the time fault logic. So you can select the time for logic. And in this time for logic, you, you, uh, you have the option of uh, the instant you want to apply a fault starting from the simulation time. And the, what will be the duration of the fault? So this uh, is how you can actuate uh, that in the PSCAD. So this is, uh, I think, enough for, for the time fault logic. Thank you.